Windows wireless speed and connection issues. The most common complaint I hear about is slow wireless and connection drops. After you've made sure that your firmware on the router is up to date and you have the latest drivers for your adapter, you need to look at interference and that's what we're going to cover today with channels. Changing the channel can improve the connection speed, stop it from dropping, and allow you to connect to a network that previously you couldn't connect to. In Windows 10, if you click on your wireless icon by your time, it will list the networks that your adapter can see. It doesn't give much information though, but there is a way that you can see the other networks that are broadcasting in your area, channel, signal strength, and other information. Just right click on your start menu icon and choose command prompt. In the command prompt, type in N-E-T-S-H space WLAN space show space all. Hit enter and it's going to list a lot of information about your wireless. Uh, you can scroll up to see other things, but we're only interested in the bottom section, which is going to list every single uh, signal your adapter is picking up, what channel they're broadcasting on, as well as their signal strength. So this is useful in determining what channel to choose for your adapter. Kind of want to go to a channel that's not being used by a lot of different networks. I see a lot of ends on channel 1, so I definitely wouldn't be choosing that. Good rule would be to do a couple channels away. My current one is set to channel 44 on 5 gigahertz, which gives me pretty good speed. But then if I switch to channel 36, I can't even connect to the network. And from 36, I switch to 165, and I get even better speed than the 44. So you need to try different channels to see which one's working in your environment. Keep in mind that other things cause interference on your network as well. So it doesn't have to be listed here. This is just what's broadcasting a signal you can connect to. There's things like wireless phones, microwaves, anything that could interfere with your wireless signal. So, and that changes throughout the day. So you need to pick the signal that's best for where your computer is currently located. You'll need to change the channel on the actual router. Each router is a bit different, but it's basically the same. If you're not sure how to log into your router, just go in the black command prompt window, type in ipconfig. When you hit enter, it's going to list a bunch of things. Mine lists way too much to show. Look for default gateway. That's most likely the IP address of your router. Type that into your web browser and it should open your configuration page to your router. Once you're in the router, you just have to look for something that says settings or wireless settings. And here there'll be a setting for channel. If yours is grayed out, make sure automatic channel scan is unchecked. It will then allow you to choose the channel for your router. And as you can see, changing the channel does have a lot of impact on speed and being able to connect.